Hey guys. So what I want to talk about right now is something that is on my mind. It's an experience that I just went through a couple hours ago and I want to talk about it. So let me start with the fact that I get a lot of questions where people ask me and a girl just asked me yesterday and she said, so how are you so confident and comfortable in showing your arm? I'm not. I don't have a full out answer for this. I don't have a full reason that can help every single person because I believe that the reason why I'm confident and comfortable with having one arm is a completely different reason than why someone else might be confident and comfortable with having one arm. And for me, my family has played one of the largest roles. Without my family and without my faith, I would not be the woman I am today. I would not be this confident in having one arm. I would not want to change the way society views imperfections if it wasn't for my family and my faith. And I believe that with God, there's a will and there's a way. So with everything I do, if I just trust God, I'll figure out a way and he'll help me. And there's nothing that I've come across that I can't do except the monkey bars. So I just wanted to explain that for a minute. But there's also days where I question, you know, like, I don't really know exactly the purpose that God has for me in my life. I don't know what job I'm going to have in my future. And I'm the type of person that likes everything to be thought out. I like to have a plan. I like to know what's going to happen the next day at this time and this time and this time. And if you look at my planner, you'll be like, holy crap, this girl has everything figured out. But guess what? I don't. And it frustrates me. But at the same time, I know in the back of my head that God has this huge plan for me. He has this huge plan for you, whatever your name is. This is your huge life plan. And no matter what happens in your life, he might throw a couple, you know, there might be a couple bumps in the road, a couple rocks in your road that you have to get over, like the one I had today. But he has this big plan for us. And I might not know what that is right now. And I want to know. I really do. I want to know, God, what is my plan you have for me? But I know that he has one. I know that everything I go through in my day-to-day -day life, whether it's a bump in the road or if it's what I had originally planned out to be, I know that it's part of this huge big plan that God has for me. In the plan that I want, why I do what I do, why I'm making this video is because I want to help you guys. I want to help kids like me who have differences, who may go through this at some point in their life and I want them to know that it's okay and we have these bumps in the road and we have to face them full head on and I don't want you to experience the hurt that I felt so I want to tell you my experience so that when you come to it you know that you're not alone and you know that there's other things. So I don't even know if any of that made sense but what happened today is I'm in a class and we were talking about the minimum wage law. So first of all, if you know me, you know that I use the word difference because I don't believe that I have a disability. I don't believe that people with Down syndrome have a disability. I don't believe in any of that. I believe that we have a difference, but we don't have a disability. We all have an ability to educate others and to do things just a little bit differently. So I've never referred to myself or anyone else to have a disability because I don't like the word. It's not, I don't have a disability. I have an ability. And so do you. And so does everyone. And I don't care what your difference is. You have an ability to educate others and to change lives and to do anything that you want to set your mind to. So he was talking about how if there's a job at Wendy's and the minimum wage is seven twenty-five and how there's um, people applying for this job. Well, say, he said, say there is a person with Down syndrome applying to this job, and there's a person who is in, was just in jail for 20 years, and he's applying for this job too. And the person in jail wants eight fifty an hour, but the person with Down syndrome just cares to get the seven twenty five. 
And my teacher said, Wendy's is going to hire the person who was in jail for 20 years because the person, even though it costs more, because the person with Down syndrome won't be able to do the job effectively, efficiently, whatever. Teacher said the word disability probably 15 times. As I was sitting in class, I started to cry. And he kept going on the same situation. I tried disability, disability, disability. And every time that word came out, it was a slap in my face. And it made me think. And I'm getting upset. But it made me think. And this is exactly what's wrong with today's society. And this is exactly why I do what I do. That person with Down syndrome is fully more than capable of doing that job at Wendy's, doing a job anywhere. We people with differences do not have any less ability to complete a task, to get hired, or anything in life. However, people think that. And I am so, so tired of hearing this. And my teacher said, 60% of the disabled community are unemployed and 11% are employed. That's not their fault. That's not our fault. That 60% that is unemployed, I guarantee you, applies for jobs. It is the people who are hiring these people whose problem this is. And this is what's wrong with society. Because we are fully capable of doing these jobs. That's happened to me. The first job I ever applied for, the person said, how are you going? It was at a shoe store. And the person said, how are you going to fit people with shoes if you're handicapped? Number one, I'm not handicapped. Number two, I have the will. And number three, I have the ability to do anything that I set my mind to. Society is so screwed up. And I know that we're getting, we're trying to make an impact in this way. But it's kind of just a reminder. So if you're like me and this happens and you hear this word that you don't ever use, you don't want to use, and it's a slap in the face that, hey, yeah, I am different, but you know what? I wouldn't change that for the life of me because God created this, me this way for a reason and a purpose and he wouldn't have chosen this battle for me if I couldn't get through it, if I if I didn't have a purpose for this battle. Just remember that everyone's different. And some of us, our differences are a lot more obvious than others, but that doesn't make us incapable of doing something. We have the passion, we have the heart. The question is, do you? Do you have the heart? Because if you're not going to hire someone because of that, and I don't think that you should be given the authority to hire if that's the way you're going to hire. This just really, really got to me, and I wanted to share this with you guys because this is something you, that you might experience in your life, or you might be hiring people, and you might do exactly what just happened. And I want you to rethink that process. Give it a little faith. Think from your heart. Use this. And even anyone just who maybe sees someone with a difference next time and says, oh my gosh, that person looks so funny. Use your heart. Think about it. Live a day in our shoes and see how it feels like. Live a day with one hand behind your back and see how easy things are. Live a day one day in your life where everybody around you, I walk around college campus all the time, every single day. And and not a moment goes by when I'm in the gym, when I'm walking around, that someone's not staring at me because I have one arm. Live a day in our shoes. And then decide. It's something that is real and is happening in our today's society. And it's tiresome, and it's not right, and it's not fair, and it needs to be addressed. So I'm addressing it. And to the people out there with differences, 
you are incredible. You are amazing. Do not let things like this get you down, but allow them to empower you to make a difference, to want to make a difference, to find someone like you and say, hey, you're awesome. Have faith. Know that you are beautiful just the way you are. You don't need to change yourself. You don't need to wish that you didn't have one arm, that you didn't have one leg. You don't need to wish that you weren't born with Down syndrome because you're awesome and you're amazing and you're beautiful and God gave you this awesome ability for a reason. And I think that's so cool. So I just wanted to say that and I just wanted to encourage you guys to keep going and that we have bumps in the road but we can overcome them and we can do something about it and we can empower other people and we don't have a disability. We have an ability to educate others, to change lives, to make a difference in today's society so that this does not happen. I don't know, it's been on my mind and I would typically write a blog post but I feel like a video is much more, I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs>